to our channel today is Thursday Red's Fave so today I'm going to show you guys how not how to make it but this is a Red's Fave back in White River the White Mountain Apache Reservation but I'm going to show you guys um a Thursday Red's Fave it's not going to be a recipe on how to make it but we're I'm just gonna show you guys a res fade so we're gonna add flour and then we're gonna do um baking powder Is it one and a half flour? This is Warren's favorite. <clears throat> he fell in love when he first tried it. I think that's a little too much. I think I first had this one. We were in the White River for a parade. No, well, during the fair. And we're, I was hungry for breakfast and people were selling burritos and I never heard of Apache cornbread and I see one in their stands. And I remember when I first bought it, it was like $4. And then <clears throat> I had the cornbread and it was good. I fell in love with it and every year I kept buying cornbread. And I think it's been like... Shoot, maybe four or five years since I had it. And then uh, the price jumped up to like $7 now. And I remember the last time I bought it was when we were leaving White River. I told Sue to pull over, jumped out of the truck, <clears throat> got over there. I grabbed me two of them, but um i'm always stingy with it but i just end up sharing it with these guys and because it's not a it's not all the time i get to eat the apache cornbread but they end up wanting it and you know it's expensive so i can't buy like five of them but you know i end up sharing it and i've been trying to find a recipe for this for the longest time I've been asking her and she's like only my grandma really knew but yeah my grandma taught me how to make this but it's been a long long time since I made it with her and then nobody else really knew so I was just like ah I tried looking online I tried YouTubing it and then I was like well, giving up on hope as I'm never going to eat it again unless I try to do it myself but there's other people that made them certain ways and I was thinking all right I'll just, I'll just try it that way maybe it'll come similar to what it tastes like and what do you know we start YouTube channel and you know Sue finally gets back in touch with some family members through YouTube and they watch our channel Yes, my uncle, I would call him. My uncle, Tommy Patton. So big thank you to her uncle, Tommy Patton and his family. Um, I happened to ask her, I said, you think he knows the recipe? So sure enough, he sent us one, but we're not doing it authentic because here in Gallup, we don't have the corn on the cob, the um, 
fresh one that's uh, sweet. Yeah. We've been trying to look for the real corn so we can um, shave them. Uh, we don't have that. We don't have the stone. So, <clears throat> you know, we just have to do it uh, like a modern way. Yeah, we're using um, canned corn. Canned corn. Um, all we did was just put it in a blender with the juice and blended it. So, um, I can't really say that we want to give up the ingredients because we really don't know this recipe. And, you know, it, this is... It's a secret. You know, it's just, I don't know, it's like... We're still learning because, you know, somebody might say we're doing it wrong because we're using canned corn. But, you know, this is just something that they grew up on, something I fell in love with when um, I went to White River. Yeah, my grandma's from the White River area. So this is, um, I learned from her because she would make it so um i remembered a little bit of how she made it but not all of it until i we started youtube and my um uncle tommy got in touch and i had asked him so he gave me the recipe so yeah but like i said you know we don't want to offend anybody if you guys really do it because I know this is probably traditional food to the Apaches yeah and you know like we don't have the corn we don't have the stone to grind it so we're doing our best here trying to do it in a modern way and we did <clears throat> test it out we did make it the other night and I fell in love with it still I took I took everything to work <laughs> we ate all of them I ate all of them all. She's happy. And Nevea, I'm surprised that she ate it. She was happy. Yeah, she was into it like her dad. But um, I was telling her, though. I was telling Sue, the thing is, when I remember getting it from White River, uh, the guy was using a cast iron, and it was like, you know, halfway full of oil when they poured it in there it was kind of like they were deep frying it because i remember when i do buy it it had that little grease to it huh yeah so i was telling her i said you know it's either deep fried in oil or deep fried in butter but i guess you can use either way but um but we're gonna we experimented with it the other day we used butter we use um pam and we like using the we pam like the pam the butter really gives it a lot of flavor it gives it that uh, buttery flavor, which is good. But uh, we used Pam, and it came out. It came out nice. It came out good, and I think it was more healthier to eat that way because I took everything to work, and I enjoyed it. You know, I, I loved it. So he knows how to make it now. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Who knows, next time when I get a bowl of hatch green chili, I might put some in there. I might sprinkle some red chili, New Mexico red chili in there. You know, just for myself to make it hotter. But I do like it though. I just... Nevaeh loved it too. Yep, she loved it. So, I was so excited when she got this recipe and I was like... Then that night we we're just kicking back and i was like we're gonna make it <laughs> we we're tired too i said we're gonna get up and make it well i don't think she believed me but when she noticed i was making noise in the kitchen she came in here and she helped me because we didn't get the official ingredients right yeah we had to kind of like uh, okay we need this we need that as far as how much to put it yep but we got our stamp of approval so and I was like, I'm eating it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm still taking this to work tomorrow morning. So he loves it. And I can see this as an afternoon snack. Uh, as you guys know, she's in the challenge. So she's not. Yeah, I, she's, I, she's I took a really little taste of it. I just. She really cut on her carbs and her yeah. sugar intake. She didn't eat pasta with us. He made spaghetti the other night. But. I just, I didn't have the pasta. 
I'm and also, he's, I'm also in the challenge, but you know, I'm just, I'm still eating what I can. I he's, just told her I can, I can lose it. Yeah, he's still eating what um, he cooks, but he's just not eating as much as he used to. No soda still, going on two weeks now, so, which is a good step. He's on his way. Well, yeah, he's... Two weeks, almost two weeks. He's doing Next good. Monday is two weeks. He's doing really good. But I was telling her the other day, I was craving a soda bad, like something sweet. Uh, what did I end up drinking? Just vitamin water, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> I use vitamin water to help curb it, but you know it's still not good for you. I've just been mainly trying to drink water. It's hard though. <clears throat> if you drink a lot of soda and you're getting off of it, it's just like... It's worse than alcohol. I think alcohol, I done better, but soda's hard. I'm just like, uh He was the last one to stop drinking soda. Yeah. This one or? Like. Mm, we're gonna use a paper one because we'll store it. But yeah, it comes out like a pancake if you guys notice. Mmm, it smells really good. It smells really corny. You can smell corn. Smells like we're making popcorn. Yeah, it smells good. But I prefer it with pan though instead of um, the oil. The oil or the the butter. The butter. But the butter was good though. It's just you know you can't have. I couldn't take all of it to work if it was in butter. I think um, if we get the pan and the butter flavor one, mm -hmm. I think it'll be perfect. Yeah. So yeah, it just comes out like a pancake. Um, we just ate it, just me and the Maya, just like that by itself. The Maya, I didn't think she would like it, but she does. I think she had two pieces, right? Yeah. She had two pieces that night, and I had like two, and then I took the other three to work. So Josiah hasn't tried this. Yeah, so he's going to come home to gonna try it when a patch of cornbread. So it's just like a pancake. But this is a patch of cornbread. So, do you want to try it? Come over. <laughs> Eight dollars. <laughs> Ten dollars for one. I know, it's expensive out there. <clears throat> No, we wouldn't charge. Just knock on the door, we'll give you one. So yeah, this is um the White Mountain Apache. They're the ones that make this. And you guys can see it just bubbles up like a pancake and then you know how it is when you cook pancakes when it's starting to get firm around the edges towards the middle, then you can flip it, so. Same way. Smells really good. And the batter is not too runny, so you gotta have like a little thickness to it. have all this to make look mm. so next time I'm gonna try it with some hatch green chili put some in there can experiment with it a little bit I think it'll be good with that chili yeah maybe we can even do this like a breakfast uh, we can add bits and pieces of um, cooked sausage maybe inside of it no sausage and corn don't go. No. Something we'll try. Maybe we'll put green beans in there. Just kidding. 
<laughs> Corn and green beans go well. But it's good though. I like it the way it is. I think just some chili would be really good with it. Like Warren said, it's just like a pancake. Yeah. So she's gonna finish cooking this up and I'm gonna do the little taste test and then we'll. That's our Thursday res fave is Apache cornbread. Yep. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. Taste tester of the day. <laughs> he just loves it. Yep. I remember the, getting this from um, White River. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put some green chili in this next time. This is really good. Well, you should be tasting it. You have the backstory to it. <laughs> I'm just a Navajo that bought it. <laughs> There's no backstory to it. Well, it, there probably is, but I don't know it. Mm -hmm. But. This is <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> like I was saying, they make this more in White River on the White Mountain Apache Reservation. So do you eat a lot growing up? No, just when you're when you're just with your grandma. When I was with my grandma. She would make it, and then she taught me how to make it. I'm sure it tastes better than this, huh, from your grandma. So she taught me how to make it, and... She used the real corn, huh? The corn on the... Mm hmm Yeah. So she used the whole corn. She cut the kernels off. And she used her corn grinder. But this so is to be honest, it does taste better with the real corn than it does with the canned corn. But we're just we're satisfied right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're satisfied using um canned corn. But like we said, we um Thursday rest wave is just to show you guys what we eat on the res, and it's not like a show me the recipe thing like how we do our other vlogs maybe well let us let us try and master this first and then we'll show you guys the recipe because i think if we do this one now then some people are going to say that's not how you make it yep let us get some corn we'll do corn on that and we'll do a video on that one but you know, this is our this is our res fave, and my res fave for this is buying it over there and eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't grow up eating this. Like I said, they do make this in White River, and they do sell it. My grandma taught me how to make it, and when we would go visit her, she would make it. So that's how I know of it, and Warren will always buy it. That's how he knows of it. Mm-hmm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thank you to your uncle. Yeah, thanks to my uncle, Tommy, Tommy Patton. Tommy Patton for kind of just sharing what they used, what they put in there. And then um, <clears throat> we didn't get the exact ingredients, but we just kind of had to figure out the texture and I think we got it. Mm -hmm. And we love it. I mean, Warren's gonna eat it all now. Gonna eat it all. Him and the beer. Mm hmm But. Thank you guys for watching. And <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.